Hello. So, this is gonna be an, another uh, makeup tutorial look. Not an every, I guess it could be an every day, every time I do my makeup look. Um, so like, whoever's watching, what's up? <laughs> Hopefully it's not two of my ex-boyfriends who have nothing better to do. Anyways, whatever. I'll get right to the video. Okay, this is a horrible angle, but whatever. You can even see my forehead. You know, can't get in the camera. And of course I have acne. Love being a girl. So, first thing I will do is take some wipes. Cucumber, aloe, and green tea. If you're curious, and I'm just gonna like exfoliate with this because I need it. Uh -huh. Okay, I haven't done like a full, like, beat face and like forever so. Is this time to do it? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just gonna get everything that I'm gonna use out of my bag. Anyways, um, I'm gonna start with a moisturizer. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be that bitch in the video going like Cardi B and her video where she talks about how her and Offset broke up. Anyways, she's like... Anyways, this uh, sample of coconut water cream from HelloFab. I've been using this and like, it's almost gone and that sucks. Ooh, it might be gone. <laughs> Ooh, that much came up. I really do like this stuff. I've like never seen it before. I got this sample from Sephora and it's pretty awesome because I don't know anything really about moisturizers. <laughs> I'm just going to use the rest of it honestly. Um, don't really know that much about moisturizers and like this was the first one I tried and it was pretty awesome. Glistening. Ooh. Fix you. Whatever. I also have this. This is a primer though. That I had in one of my videos. The bare mineral. Well, Mesh Rescue. I guess I could try that for my forehead. Um. Because it really does work with the redness. Oh. Shouldn't have did that after I exfoliated. Is that fucking burns? Honestly, I should have probably used this by itself because it feels like lotion. But I'm not a beauty guru. So, um, get my beauty blender. What is it by Real Techniques? Real Techniques? Um, and then I'm gonna use Pore Professional. Pore primer by Benefit. Once again, a sample. And I'm actually gonna, um, I'll be sad when this runs out, but I'll probably buy some more. So. Um, mostly my pore problems are if I can screw this shit back on. Um, they're like around here and ish. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Don't laugh at me. I just always take this and like blend it in because I like how it works and I like it better than rubbing it in. I feel like that stuff worked just a little bit because like this looks not as red but that looks super red. But um, it's okay. They just scratch there. Don't know how they got there. Uh, I'm just gonna use some concealer. I'm gonna use Kylie concealer in stone. I also like um, 
the same thing in bone but um i'm a lot lighter so i'm using stone because it's so thick too which i like i also like how i'm literally not going anywhere right now like i'm about to take a shower after this so That's a whole lot from just one little wand, one wand sweep, swoop, 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 swoop. Anyways. I mainly bought stone and bone so I could like mix them together because you know one was too light and one was too dark so I figured both of them together would like help but um my dumbass only uses the one what the hell I just heard the one anyways oh I also have the Jekyll and Hill Morphe makeup brush set so glittery and shiny. I love it. Um, so I'm gonna start with the foundation. I'm gonna use her JH03 brush. I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't know what they're all called and what they're all for. I just know what I like to use and how well it works for me. That's cold and smells like paint. Anyways, um, I don't always use this, um, like to do what I'm doing right now. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just use the beauty blender. Just depends. And like the foundation, a little trick I like to do is go over my eyebrows with them because it creates like a little outline of where I can go with my like brow pencil, brow, whatever I'm using. It gives me a better brow. Some people don't like to touch their brows. But, um, bitch, I do. Helps for me, and honestly, if I don't have my brows um, covered in foundation or whatever, like I said, for that outline, that was stupid. It makes my brows come out awful, in my opinion. God, I'm super white, dude. What the hell am I doing? How the hell did I not be able to- I wasn't able to see that pimple, um, without foundation? And like I can see it perfectly now, just from the texture itself. I guess that's good. No. Keep dropping my blender. I'm just gonna take a powder brush, JH01. Excuse me a second. Okay, I just had a weird like on one of my tweets from like fucking forever ago, like months ago, like at least five months ago. That's super weird. Oh, sorry, I didn't show my. Foundation L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow. I hate that it has like nothing in it really. Oh, I'm shade 201 Classic Ivory. I might not be, but that's the shade I use. Um, I'm just gonna use the Infallible Pro Matte powder that goes with it. If you want it to go with it, because it makes me less oily and I like it. Plus, I love this powder brush. I love it a lot. Um, like I said, I'm not a beauty guru. Um, but uh, I'm gonna bronze with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and Light Bronzer because the bitch is pale AF. And I'm gonna use the JH02 bronzer brush. I think that's what it is. 
maybe. I really feel like I'm such a white bitch. Um, that the bronzer does absolutely nothing. But like slightly make me look like I put dirt on my face, maybe. Um, don't know. Even though I'm not that great on bronze, my skin's not that. Um, fucking compatible, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. I'm gonna like bake and totally try to see the line. I'm using a mini Laura Mercier translucent powder for my baking um, and this little cheap brush, little funny looking brush. I guess I got it from Walmart. I have no idea. I think it's from e.l.f. I just wanted a separate one for translucent baking because um, I didn't want the one I used for foundation to be all weird, that weird texture from the powder and I'm putting powder here because sometimes I have, well most of the time I have laugh lines like here and I don't really want it to crease so I'm baking because that's just what you fucking do and I guess I'll put it under my eyes I don't know why I did my nose because I can I guess I feel like I totally forgot it, but what's new? Anyways, done with that. Honestly, I want to try to contour like my nose. Um, I used to be like amazing at it, but then I switched brushes and I suck at it. So don't switch up your brushes. I look like I just put my head in a fucking sack. Anyways, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit Light to Medium Powder. Um, oops. What the fuck, yo? Uh, I have no idea how to handle my squidward nose. I guess I could use these two brushes maybe. Maybe these would work. Like I said, switch brushes. Don't know how I really wish I wouldn't have got litter. Red. Really wish I wouldn't have got rid of the last one that I used, I got into it with. I feel like I'm hopeless. Is that good? Of course not. Um, another thing I used to do is I would just blend it with this, so maybe I could do that. I feel like that looks awful because it just went over it with, um, foundation. You know what? Today just might not be our day. Um eyebrows. I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. I really need to pluck my eyebrows. My eyebrows. Fuck. I know. Um, it's probably what you're thinking. But, um, I'm just a little lazy sometimes. Once again, like that last makeup video I did, I was using probably a powder from a palette, a cheap ass Walmart palette that had a really good brown I liked. 
because I like to change the color of my brows a lot. And I'm using this, and I kind of like it, but I'm thinking it's time for a switch already. Or I might just wait till the pencil's done. <coughs> I'm good. I usually take this, and this is what really kind of makes me annoyed about this, is I'll take it and brush it out, and I'll brush it out too light. See how light it's getting already? This is just not this right brows day. Not yet. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna take all this powder off. Whatever. I did it, I guess. Did that thing. I'm gonna take some e.l.f. blush in Twinkle Pink. And I'm gonna blush, brush in JH04. And pack that shit on. I'm really not like a huge blush person. I'll use blush, but I don't like to look pink. That's just not me. So, what to do next? Um, I think I'll do the, uh, what's it called? My shadow. I'm gonna use the Kylie Jenner. Oh, <laughs> what's this one called? I totally forgot what this one's called, and it doesn't have a name on it. Um, this one, the mirror's broke. I don't know how that happened. But, uh, this palette, I feel like it's the Naughty palette, or, not Naughty, no, there's no way that's that. Um, shit, dude, to be honest, I can't remember what it's called. Whatever. Oh, I'm gonna use this first buttermilk shade. Buttermilk first shade. Buttermilk. As I said, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a pro. Um, I just know it works for me. I'm gonna use this shade, Raspberry Sugar. And I'm just gonna go all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take this shade, Berry Bite. <sighs> that has a lot of fallout. And I'm gonna put it in the corner. And fuck it up just because it's oh my god <laughs> don't know what that is what the hell is that it's black i put the berry bite in the corners this fucking iphone resolution does not fucking play if you're ugly you're ugly and it's not lying to you about it. What is that? Okay, I'm gonna take some Anastasia Beverly Hills and Breezy highlight. Look at that shit. This is still from like the original launch. I just barely have used it. I'm just gonna put it in the corner. Okay, done that. Now I'm gonna take some waterproof Kat Von D 
tattoo liner and it's like slanted whatever not that you care um it's slanted so it's like better for your wing and um i'm gonna do some wings yeah the reason i said waterproof is because it's not waterproof and i remember they was like advertising it on their um instagram that was like oh our amazing waterproof liner and i was like this shit's not waterproof and of course they never said anything to me because they were like replying to their um like all the fans like kissing their ass like oh my god got one of your shit is so amazing like forever use and i was like that shit is not waterproof sis because like i can get in the shower like touch my face and it just comes off like, I don't have to rub, I don't have to do anything, I just touch it. Is that okay? Anyways. But I don't understand why it's so hard to do, like, a waterproof liner. Like, Maybelline does it, and that shit's fucking amazing. So that's why I'm, like, about to just switch back to Maybelline. Because their waterproof shit does not, does not go anywhere. Like, I had it for, um, or I had it in the little, like, the little wand-ish type thing. And, um... I remember it was like the shit like I could wash my face I could scrub my face and everything and I would still have like the little like remains of what used to be my wing liner and I could like just go back over it because I'm lazy and didn't want to like do another wing anyways I'm gonna do some lashes the only lashes I have right now are uh, ritzy lashes by kiss so I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Got my lashes on, I guess. I guess. I'll put some mascara on. And that's, um, Kush Mascara by Milk Makeup. If you were curious. Um, now I'm gonna do some highlight. What the hell? Oh. I'm just gonna take, uh, Jeffree Star's Ice Cold Skin Frost. I know this is super weird, but mine has like a weird consistency. It's like, I don't know, it's like grimy. It's just so weird. Sometimes I use multiple things over each other, like this Lara Geller um, Champagne Pink Gelato Swirl Eliminator. I just like layer the shit over everything. Skin Perfector in Rose Quartz. Oh wait, I can totally do... Did I do the Amrezy one? I could, whatever. I'll do the Amrezy one too. That's ridiculous. That's some serious glow, dude. Oh, um... Then I have Urban Decay All Nighter 
settings gray it stinks anyways i'm gonna use this rebel rose wet and wild if it looks good And now I should brush my wave. So I'm done. Um, and this is the finished look. My hair is a big frizzy mess. It needs to be washed. Um, it's still like freshly dyed. And has only had one wash since being dyed. So that's why it looks like this. I mean... I feel like I look decent. Yeah, so like I said, this is the final look. And yeah. Um if you like the video, like on uh, like it. Comment on it if you wanna comment on it. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I've really been slacking with YouTube, like I've been wanting to make um more videos and I have video ideas, but um I'm just too tired with work and stuff. Um, I'm just a busy person and I feel like I want to put effort into a video if I'm doing it. And also I do want more video ideas. Because the ones I have I'm like unsure. I don't know, it's, it's just a compli com complicated situation. I was sh trying to say something that, and then looking at my nails that I ripped off my um, fake nails recently. Like two days ago so they look like absolute fucking shit. Dude. Anyways, yeah. That's all I have. Deuce.